Hey guys, Cameron Blagan here coming to you with a uh, really cool video on just real quick how uh, to uh, get videos and pictures with your drone and then how to read them on your computer and how to format your SD card if it's not working correctly. Um, this is uh, might seem basic but it's really important um, and I'll also give you some tips for uh, not even just taking them but how to get a really good looking picture. Uh, so to start out we're just going to go over uh, kind of the basics. So uh, you have a 4 gigabyte SD card here uh, plugged into your USB converter for plugging into your computer. Uh, that's pretty basic. Use any uh, USB port. If a uh, USB port isn't reading it try another one um, and you should be good. Uh, you can see uh, the camera there on the bottom and you've got the SD card slot on the back. Uh, make sure you get it in there correctly. Uh, the little reader marks should be facing uh, the little uh, connection point should be facing down uh, you just push it in there and to get it out you push it again and it pops on out just like that so you get it out like that um, and again you put it in with the teeth facing uh, the towards the bigger part the connections facing towards the bigger part of the USB facing down uh, there's a little hole there so that's how to uh, get it in here. Let's go now to the computer um, and see how to format this SD card in case something isn't working and then we'll get outside uh, to check out how to get some really awesome looking drone videos and pictures um, and how to do it using the uh, Flying C app which if you haven't checked out the video on that, check that out. It gives a little more info on there and also uh, how to get video, how to access it on your phone and then how to get it back on your computer and all that. Uh, so let's go head over to the computer and check that out. Okay guys, so we're at the computer now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up a file explorer. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and just plug in the uh, USB micro SD converter um, and a screen pops up with the uh, D drive here um, and there is nothing in it yet because we have not uh, used it in the uh, drone. Uh, so I will show you how to do that once we get some footage from it. Uh, but I just wanted to quickly show you how to format your disk in case something is not working. What you're going to do is go to uh, Manage up here in the Drive Tools. Uh, or if you don't see that, you can also right-click on here. Um, and then there's a Format option there as well. And so what you're going to do is... Uh, there is this format, but I like to do it directly on the drive just because I know then uh, that it for sure... Um, is the right device I'm not formatting like my hard drive. Uh, you're going to do FAT32 uh, and that's default and you'll, that is standard. Uh, it's got the capacity, can't change that. Um, <clears throat> this I would just leave uh, whatever is default which should be 32 if in doubt you can always put default allocation size. 32 kilobytes is generally fine and that's just how much is allocated to it to help the uh, drive run. Um, I would just hit uh, restore device defaults um, when in doubt. You can label it if you want um, quick format is what I would do, and if that doesn't work, you can uncheck that and try again without quick format. Uh, but you're going to do format. It uh, gives you warning. It will erase all data. Click OK. And you now formatted your disk on disk D. And you want to be careful you don't do this like to your hard drive or something. Um, and again, if that doesn't work, you can try it uh, without the quick format. Uh, and so that's how to format it if it is not working. You can see now uh, it's USB drive D, um, so it says it is a USB drive now um, instead of just uh, drive D, and you have it formatted. Uh, if you go to click it again, uh, you'll see that the allocation size is uh, now uh, the default, which is this 4,000 bytes. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also do this 32 kilobytes. doesn't really make a difference. Uh, if that's what you want, um, you can do that one and now it is working. You see it's empty though, so let's go get some footage outside and then we can test it inside and make sure it is uh, working. We'll show you how to access it both from your phone and your computer. All right, so you can see now the FPV screen is up on the phone. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and fly it around out here with the uh, camera on this and I'll also get a video on the drone so you can see what it looks like, uh, which will be much higher quality than here because the lighting's a little weird. Uh, but this is proof so you can see uh, that this is a uh, real FPV screen. It really does get a nice view of whatever it is filming. Uh, so I talked to you earlier about how to get videos uh, on your phone and we're going to go ahead and just press the camera button here and take a couple pictures. So you can see if we take this, we press that camera button, some pictures show up there in the bottom left and the SD card is in right now. So if I press that uh, video button, you see the time starts scrolling in the bottom left and I am now live. 
so I can fly through some really cool obstacles, get some video, um, and we'll go ahead and cut to that video after I'm done talking, and then it'll show you what it looks like from the drone. So you can see, this is some serious quality photos uh, and videos, and honestly a really fun way to get your uh, drone. Media is your gallery. So this is where you can see all of your um, photos and such. So if you click on this, uh, that My Gallery part, it will um, take you to this uh, part of the screen where you can see pictures, videos, and also uh, you can delete photos from there. You just trash and then you can click those photos. So you can see now we're outside and um, it's, this is a really good example of hovering and how stable it can be and then when you move what it looks like. Uh, so when you move you're going to want, and you're filming, you're going to want to make sure you make gentle uh, movements. You can see now uh, I'm moving the controller uh, gently and it's getting some nice shots. If you start moving those sticks too fast it's going to get some really jolty shots like that. Now, uh, you can see even at this high altitude, uh, it gets a little low uh, and you can't see a whole lot. So what you're going to want to do is to point that lens forward and get up super high or point that lens down um, and then you can see a little bit more of the ground. Um, but you can see here when you're flying forward and the lens is tilted down, you can't see a whole lot more uh, other than the ground. Um, but you can see, you know, land, take off, the camera will keep running. Uh, it's really fun. Uh, right now I'm flying FPV through the trees. Uh, but a way to get some really great video is to make sure you're being stable, uh, being very decisive in where you're moving, but very smooth at the same time, making sure it's a uh, cl not a cloudy day, good lighting, and uh, it's not windy so your drone isn't shaking, and um, overall just really making sure what you're filming is in the frame uh, well and you're high enough up that you can see the whole thing. And that's really all that there is to it to getting good videos and photos. So you can see now I've got my Drive D um, and I've got some photos and videos to show you uh, how to access and because this is properly formatted it's now working. Uh, so this TMP temporary file is not uh, going to be in use but you can see the photo and video has uh, some content in it so if I click on this uh, you can see the JPEG there that pops up um, and that is a great picture of, uh, from the drone and that was taken by using that photo button on the app or on the controller. Uh, and then you can see this MP4 video that the drone took. Uh, is a great video from the drone, extremely stable, really fun uh, to fly with this video um, and overall it looks really great uh, on your computer uh, for such a small camera. Uh, there are really some powerful cameras uh, that we have on these drones. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Again, if you're using the app, uh, this is a similar setup on the app. You're just going to click that My Gallery and then there will be a photo and video section uh, just like this but on your phone um, and it will save also to your phone as well as the SD card if that's how you have it set up and you will be able to access them on your phone send them to social media um, and stuff like that while also uh, being able to put them on your computer so whichever way you want to do it uh, you can do it that way or the other so thanks for watching this has been a video on how to take some great photos and videos and how to access them on both your phone and the computer if you have any questions feel free to contact our customer support make sure to watch our other videos on how to fly your drone and I'll see you again in another video